Hey everybody, uh, Dallas here at Commotion Sheet Metal. So I wanted to recap um, what I went over with the group on Friday, and this video for further groups will just reiterate some of the um, concepts when we're fitting these end pieces to our barbecues, okay? So this, is, uh, this video is intended to um, just be like a reminder after you've already been taught the lesson. This isn't like gonna go f uh, through the full step by step, it's just gonna recap and reiterate some of the things to do and not to do, and yeah, you get the idea. So yeah, I got the end piece on my barbecue, okay? Um, in the class, I showed how we can remove this by running zip disks just on the tacks and then breaking those with a hammer and a cold chisel, okay? Then what I did is I um, dressed all that up. I got all the little burrs from each tack filed down and I refit this back on and you, you, you can barely tell, okay? So when we're fitting this, it's really important, like I said in class, to start at the front leading edge. So this is the front of the barbecue and that's where we're gonna wanna tack because this is what's seen the most. This is the most visible side of it. We're not gonna start on the back where it's least seen, no, we're gonna start on the front. And all I'm worried about is just getting the front corner fit and fit properly, okay? So I'm nice and flush across here, okay? And I'm nice and tight. So I fit that corner, put a tack. Then what, what I do is I, I, I work around the perimeter of this to the back side. I'll, I'll never tack here and then tack there. If I do that, I could lock a bubble in up here that I, I could never get out. So any discrepancies and maybe bend angles, like if you're plus or minus five degrees, I mean, that's a little much, but a, a couple degrees on your, on your bend angles for, for these here, that's okay. As you all saw when I fit this, I can move it back and forth and manipulate it very easily, okay? Um, things like quick grips, um, you know, maybe um, glazing bars, those, those things help us fit stuff like this. You can get all that stuff from the tool grip, okay? So I started here. Came over, tacked there, over to here. I think I jumped the middle and came back, but I got that corner tacked. But I did tack the middle because I had a I had a big gap here. I had to pull this together. And if I don't tack the middle right there, and I got a big gap here, like this piece is going that way, so I could like put my finger through. Um, when you pull this and squish that, it can put a bulge here. So I just put a tack in the middle. And then there, there, and there, all the way around, okay? So please, again, don't fuss too much about how perfect the bend angles are. Your instructors, if they say it's okay, it is okay, all right? If I walk up to you and I look at it and you're worried about it, you're a little stressed about the bend angles not being perfect, and I look at you and I say, it's perfect, you have to trust me, okay? We can make it fit. I hope that makes sense. Other things, don't forget your your torch when you're tacking this, you know. Um, whoops, sorry, when you're tacking that, make sure you're resting that cup. That way you're nice and stable. You don't wanna be out here in the middle of nowhere, you know, having the coffee jitters. Just nice and stable, tack, tack, oh, sorry. Nice and stable, tack, tack, tack. So, and, and yeah, I, I know, I, I gotta put more tacks on this and that's something I said uh, to my class on Friday. So, so yeah, about every half an inch, okay? About every half an inch. That's all, I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna make some more videos for you. I'm gonna do one on grinding and polishing so you have that, okay?